defending the authenticity of Jesus' words. Hello, everyone. Today, I want to address a recent accusation that has that made its way into public discourse, one that claims the powerful words of Jesus, let him who is without sin cast the first stone, are nothing more than a forgery. I believe it's, a re it's vital to respond to this claim with clarity and conviction. First, let's look at the crux, crux of the accusation. The claim suggests that this remarkable quote from John 8 is not authentic, that it was inserted into the gospel later by scribes or editors because the earliest manuscripts of the Gospel of John don't include this account. However, that statement's misleading. While it's true that some early manuscripts do not contain this passage, it's critical to remember that the earliest manuscripts we have are not necessarily the most accurate. In fact, those manuscripts often cited as earliest are only some of the fragments we have and the majority of more authoritative manuscripts do include this account and they tell a consistent story that aligns with Jesus' teachings throughout the gospel. Now, let's consider the implications of dismissing these words. When we label Jesus' quote as forgery, we not only undermine the authority of scripture, but also disregard the profound impact this teaching has on countless lives. Romans 3.23 tells us, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. This truth compels us to recognize our own shortcomings, sins, and approach others with humility and grace. Moreover, this statement by Jesus serves as a powerful reminder of our need for introspection. The challenge he presents is not just about judgment, but about understanding our own position before God. The claim that this quote is not genuine attempts to sidestep the truth it embodies. In conclusion, those who deny the authenticity of Jesus' words are often grasping at straws, seeking a way to ignore the undeniable truth that we all, one day, will give an account to God. Rather than dismissing this profound teaching, let's embrace it. It's call to humility and grace. Thank you for joining me today as we defend the authenticity of Jesus' words. If this message has been helped to you, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, God bless.